Hey there, I want to welcome you to tonight's uh, live stream. If you want to join, you want to participate, then uh, please go get yourself a uh, rope shop a bow, a six foot staff. Um, we're going to be doing a conditioning exercise that we do here in the dojo. Uh, and it's uh, specifically to not only help you with the bow jitsu basic uh, and the basic strikes, but also to develop strength in your hips and range of motion. So um, we're, we'll get started with that. And what we're not going to be doing is we're not going to be doing footwork and moving the feet. Rather, we're going to be stroke. We're going to be focusing on the proper strike, uh, but then also the proper movement and use of the hips. So um, Peter's here with us tonight, so he'll be uh, doing the exercises with us. If you have any questions on these exercises, uh, please go ahead and just put it down below. But we're going to go through about 600 strikes here. So uh, if you've got uh, somewhat of a heavy weapon, then you're going to get a good workout with your arms. Uh, I am with every repetition of 100, I will stop uh, and I'll look at some important points of each one of these techniques, uh, what I'd like you to focus on, or at least what we focus on here, what I want my students to focus on here at the dojo. So in the sequence of the kihon, uh, as we train them, we have Tento Menucci. Now, if you watched the class two weeks ago, the live class, I went through these basics. Okay, then Yoko Menucci. Yoko Menucci. Then Douchi. Do. Do. Then Ashiburai. Then Geron Haneage. Geron Haneage. Then Ski. Okay, so if you don't, if you're not familiar with this, then I would encourage you maybe try your best, but definitely go back and uh, review the live class from a couple weeks ago. If you're one of my students, then uh, obviously you're very familiar with this material. If you're new to this material, I'd encourage you to go into budohall.com uh, and I have uh, just hundreds of videos there, dozens of videos on this one particular topic and helping you to uh, perfect your Bojutsu basics. But this is really a conditioning exercise and to help you also get better with your striking basics. Okay, so <clears throat> let's begin here. We're gonna start off and our feet are gonna be a little bit past shoulder width distance. Uh, both feet will be turned out at 45 degree angles. And I want you to make sure that your movement is with the knees over the feet. Uh, once again, last week's live class, we talked about that. Now we're bringing all that information together uh, for tonight's class. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna strike down like this. Now what I want you to do uh, is please make sure that you're striking down. You're not striking down where you're coming in from the side and then coming down. Rather, the movement is over the shoulder and straight down, mm. okay? so. Let's begin. And you're going to sink the hips with each one. And each knee. Sun. I'm going to keep it slow here. She. Usually we go at a faster pace than this. Go. Rook. She. Hutch. Ku. Ju. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Go, rope, shish, hutch, ku, ju. We're gonna stop at 50 here. I'm gonna explain something. Each, ni, sun, shi, go, rope, shish, hutch, ku, ju, sun, each, Ni, sun, shi, go, rook, shich, hutch, ku, ju, ich, ni, sun, shi, go, rook, shich, hutch, ku, ju. Okay, now we're going to do another 50 of that one, but a couple things I want to point out here. One is as you're doing this, again, weapon's coming over the shoulder, you're coming straight down. You'll notice that my left hand is centered to my body. I'm not coming down like this to the side. 
Also, you'll notice my right hand, the pinky's over the weapon. So I'm not coming in and just supporting it on the top of my thumb as it comes down. You want to, when you're doing this movement, pull with the closest hand inside and strike straight down the center line. Okay? Um, oh, and the most important thing I think, well, those are all important points, aren't they? But don't bounce. I'm going to revisit this point a few more times. Sometimes I, <coughs> I reference, like, when I was a kid, we used to have these little wooden paddles that you buy at the store for 25 cents, and they had a little pink ball on them, and you, they're attached to a string, you go boing, 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 like that. Oftentimes, I feel too many people, they bounce, bounce, bounce. What I want you to do with these exercises going forward is stop, then back, stop, and don't hit it and boing, boing, boing like kind of like move the stick around, but stop crisp in place, and then go to the next one, stop. Okay, so this is what you want to try to be cognizant of. Let's do the next 50. And each knee, sun, she, go, rope, sheesh, much, ku, ju, each, sink the hips. Each knee, sun, she, Go, rok, shich, hach, ku, ju, ni, ich, ni, san, shi, go, rok, shi, hach, ku, ju, san, ich, ni, san, she go rope sheesh hatch ku ju each knee sun she go rope sheesh hatch ku bo ju go good okay that gets us to a hundred so we're gonna follow pretty much that same model on the next strike. The next strike is yokomen, or to the side of the head. Now, with this technique, once again, the exercise here, we're gonna come all the ways up, the hands coming to the stomach. You're gonna notice my elbows under the bow here, like this. It's not like this, and the arms are gonna stay in close and tight to the body. So here, over, you're coming halfway to this point, and then from here, bring it around like this, as though you're striking to the side of the head. Okay, so it's kind of like an upside down question mark. And when you do this, you don't want it to be kind of middle of the body. You want to be aware of striking to the side of the head with this. I know for some of you, this might be fast. We might be going really fast, but um, for others, this, sh this should be okay. Um, the good news is you can just scrub back and watch the video over and over again. You don't have to do 100 reps. You can do 50 reps, you can do 20 reps. But more important than doing sloppy reps is doing perfect form and really working through the form. And this exercise will help you through that. Okay, let's go to the next 100 now, Pete. We're gonna go Yoko Men. So nice and slow, starting with this right side. Each knee, sun, she, go, rope, sheesh, hatch. Ku, ju, ich, ich, ni, san, shi, go, rok, shich, hach, ku, ju, ni, ich, ni, bend the knees, san, she go rope sheesh hatch ku ju san each ni san she go rope sheesh hatch ku Ju, each, 
Nid. Sun. She. Go. Rock. Sheesh. Hutch. Coo. Jew. Go. Okay, let's stop here and check yourself. Um, in the class on Saturday morning, my students were coming over and they were coming like this with the hand to the side, kind of hitting the side of their body. Instead, I want the hand at the center, like your tan then, and strike like this. So here, one, two. And you'll notice I'm shifting over, my right knee is over this foot, I'm not staying center weight. So, and one, two, one, two, like this. And it's at the center of the body. Okay, let's do the next five, and the next 50. Again, if you have any questions, put them down below, please. <clears throat> and I'll get to them after the workout. And each, we'll start slow again. Knee, sun, she, go, rope, sheesh, hutch, coo, jew, each, each, knee. Sun, she, go, rook, sheesh, hutch, coo, jew, knee, each, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sheesh, Hutch, Ku, Ju, Itch, Ni, Sun, Remember, don't bounce. She, Stop, Go, Rook, Sheech, Hutch, Ku, Ju, Itch, Ni, Sun, she, go, rook, sheesh, hutch, coo, jew. Cool. Let me see, Don, that gets us to 100. Yokomenuchi, this is 200 strikes total so far. Next is going to be do, doj. So here, weapon goes straight, then if I'm striking to the left, I'm pushing to the right, and I want to finish the strike at 11 o'clock, not at 12 o'clock. I want to finish at 11 o'clock, not 12 o'clock. Okay, this is what's important. When I go to the opposite side, I finish at 1 o'clock, not 12 o'clock, and I sink into that. You'll also notice where my arm is. My arms are in tight. I'm sparring against or I'm fighting against an opponent with a sword. So I don't want to leave my arms out there. There are some styles, some schools and great systems that teach that and I respect that. I have nothing to say about it. The way the Manaka Sensei teaches it is to keep the elbows in close and lever with strength and protect the line of your ribs and here for uh, ski and for thrusts and cuts uh, in this manner. So this is how we train and this is why it is that way. So let's go into Do. If you have any questions, put them down below. Ready? And each. Ni, san, shi, again, hands at the center of the body, go, rope, shich, hach, ku, ju, ich, ich, ni, san, shi, go, rope, shich, hach, ku, ju, ni, Ich, ni, san, shi, go, rok, shich, hach, ku, ju, san, ich, ni, san, shi, go, rok, shich, hach, ku, ju, shi, ich, Ni, san, shi, go, rook, shich, hach, ku, ju, go, ich, ni, san, shi, go, rook, shich, hach, 
Cheech, Hotch, Koo, Ju, Beach, Ni, Sun, She, Go, Rope, don't bounce. Cheech, Hotch, Koo, Ju, Beach, Ni, don't bounce. Sun, She, Go, Rope, Oh, Cheech. Hutch, losing it. Coo. Jew, let's do two more. Each, because I screwed up. Me. Good. One of the benefits of live, I can make those mistakes. Okay. So before we go to the next one, which is Ashibarai. <clears throat> Look, get up off your seat if you're not already training. If you're sitting there watching me on like your phone, or you're sitting and watching this on your laptop, like I don't want to sound brash or anything, but get off your ass and grab something. If you don't have a staff, just pretend you do. Use a pencil, I mean, use anything. But uh, if, if you're watching this and you're not moving, it means you have an interest, but you don't have an action. Uh, maybe you're in a place where, maybe you're at work and you're not in an environment where you can do this. Still, shift your body, move. Start ingraining this into your body's movement rather than just looking at it. Uh, this is really important, otherwise, I mean, yeah, it's not, it, we're not here for entertainment. We're here to share, to learn, and to preserve. So hopefully you're, you're doing that alongside us. Okay, next is going to be Ashibarai. So from here, one, two, and this hand is coming in to the chest. I shift to the side, three, like this. Once again, please make sure the knees are over the feet when you're doing this movement. We're striking in to the ankles. Same rules apply as Do, okay? Ready, Pete? Here we go. Each, nice and slow in the first. Knee, sun, chi, go. Lots of different ways of doing this technique. Roku, chi chi, hachi, ku, ju, each, knee, sun, chi, go, rope, chi chi. Hutch, ku, ju, ni, ich, ni, san, shi, go, rok, shich, hutch, ku, ju, san, ich, ni, san, shi, go, rok, shich, Hutch, ku, ju, ich, ni, san, shi, and go. go. Good. Okay, a couple things here. You'll notice I'm not going around in a circle like this. Actually, it's close into my body. You may have even heard me click my knee a couple times, or I don't know if that was you or me or who it was, but, but you're not coming around and making big movements. It's tight in, tight in. Second is, as I said, same as Do, I'm striking into here, not to here, but I'm, I'm striking through the leg, so it ends up at this angle. I switch and strike through the leg, so I'm going all the way through at this angle, not like this, okay? Let's do the next 50 now. Let's see if you can put that in place if you haven't done so already. And each, knee, sun, she, Go, rope, sheech, hutch, ku, ju, each, ni, sun, she, go, rope, sheech, hutch, ku, ju, each, ni, sun, she, go, rope. Sheech, hutch, ku, ju, sun, beach, knee, sun, she, go, rope, sheech, hachi, ku, ju, beach, knee, sun, she, go, rope, sheech, hutch, Ku, ju, 
Good. Okay, nicely done. Next is going to be Haneage, striking straight upwards. Uh, if you have, you should already know this. Again, go back two weeks ago to the live where I go over these details. But for this one, staying in this position, you're basically going to hold the bow in front of you, let it slide down to the end. Now, what's important is that you keep the hands at a shoulder width distance. Don't do this movement like this, and certainly don't finish the movement like this. But try to really be cognizant of keeping the hands at an equal distance throughout the movement. So. From here, like this, the high hand punches the ground as it goes straight up, and you sink. And you're sinking like you're almost coming down to punch the ground. I have an injured knee, so I'm doing the best I can, but usually I'd be going down almost to a full burpee, like almost like kind of coming in here. Let's see if I can do it. I'm gonna push myself like this. Come down into a deep squat, and then come up with the bow, and then again, deep squat, up with the bow and deep squat, okay? And I'm sure you can imagine just from seeing that, by the time you get to 50, if you can't cook some eggs and bacon on your ass because it's burning so much, well, you're not going deep enough, go deeper. Okay? Here we go. That was kind of no. Ready? And each, knee, sun, she, go. Rope, shish, hutch, ku, ju, each, sorry, I can't go too low. Each, knee, sun, shi, keep the back straight, go, don't bend forward, roku, shi chi, keep the weapon straight, hachi, ku, no arches, ju, each, knee, Sun, don't forget, don't bounce, stop, chi, go, rope, shish, hutch, ku, ju, each, sun, knee, sun, chi, go, rope, shish, hutch, ku, ju, each, knee, sun, she, go, rope, sheesh, hutch, ku, ju, each, knee, sun, she, go, rope, sheesh, hutch, ku, Chu, get lower. Beach, knee, sun, she, go, rope, sheesh, hutch, ku, ju, each, knee, sun, she, go, rope, she, hutch, ku, Ju, Hachi, Ich, Ni, Sun, Shi, Go, Rope, Shich, Hach, Ku, Ju, Ich, Ni, Sun, Shi, Go, Rope, Shich, Hach, Ku, Ju, Ju, good. Whew. Okay, now finally we're gonna do uh, ski. So pretty simple, but the principles have to be in place. From here, you're gonna bring the right hand back to target thrust, like that. So don't step or anything, but the goal is to keep the hands at equidistant. To the shoulders. Finish like this, not like this. That's what I'm trying to work towards. Uh, but get a good powerful thrust on this. Okay? Here we go. We'll do five on each side. And each knee. Sun. She. Go. Don't bounce. Roku. She chi. Hachi. Ku. Ju. Each. Knee, sun, she, go, rope, sheesh, hutch, ku, ju, 
two. Hold left hand. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rope. Sheesh. Hutch. Ku. Ju. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rope. Sheesh. Hutch. Ku. Ju. Switch sides. And each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rope. Sheesh. Hutch. Ku. Ju. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rope. Sheesh. Hutch. Ku. Ju. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rope. Sheesh. Hutch. Ku. Ju. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rope. Sheesh. Hutch. Ku. Ju. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rope. Sheesh. Hutch. Ku. Ju. Good. Okay, that gets us up to 600 strikes. So that's a nice warm up. One of the things uh, when we're doing ski that you want to get away from, be aware of, as well as using the whole weapon and thrusting and keeping the power here with the hands like this, not like this, but also is to not like scoop down as you're doing the thrust. Don't thrust downward like this, but go to target with the hand already back here, thrust, hold, back rather than like this. That's no good, it's an amateur's mistake, in my opinion. And if you're watching this video, I'm hoping that you can work on that or already be beyond it. Okay, take a minute, grab a quick sip of water uh, if you're training along with us, because you definitely deserve it. 600 straight strikes with a bow. Work with a light weapon. Uh, if you don't have the, the, um, the strength of the form, Work on getting the form through, not necessarily the repetitions and the numbers, but eventually work your way up to where you can do 100 of each of these strikes comfortably, both moving the feet and standing still and just training to get the knees proper, open up the hips. When you're dropping the hips also, you wanna make sure that you're not dropping the hips and causing your body to have to arch forward because you don't have, have the range of motion in your groin. Go back to that last live last week, we spoke about this. so. I'm trying to bring all of this together uh, to make a comprehensive sort of curriculum for your own personal training, regardless of what style or tradition you come from. Uh, if this bow jitsu is interesting to you, then, then please like uh, find some value in what I'm, what I'm sharing with you. Okay, now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna introduce a little pressure testing of our basics. Pete's gonna be with a sword and I'm gonna be with a bow. Uh, now, if you are tired from that set of 600, this is my third time today I've done this set. I did it in the morning class, did it in the afternoon, and then I've done it again uh, today. And uh, it's tiring. There's a, there's a puddle of sweat over there, as there should be. But you get to a point where, you know, you're not, it, doesn't, it doesn't beat you up too much. It doesn't exhaust you. Um, and it's not that I'm stronger than anybody else. I'm certainly not in any way. Um, it's just that I stick to the form. I stick to the basics. And I'm committed to doing the work uh, and my body just kind of takes over and my form by focusing on the form it allows me to have more efficient movement and thus makes it less taxing uh, on me when I'm going through it so that's what I hope for you as well okay next exercise Pete. This is uh, what we uh, moved on to in the Saturday morning class where the students would go through that warm up. And then before we got to our kata, 
we would assume uh, any comma, I stayed on OpenMI for this training, and then all I wanna do is we're gonna start off by going through that sequence, each, and Pete practices his Kenjutsu by blocking. A couple things that I pointed out, if you were on the stream, you'll remember seeing this from Saturday. Watch how Pete moves. No, no, don't even move. Like, so what, I, I should have explained this to you. What was happening in this, this morning is that a game of Chambara was at, like starting to take place where Pete now knows what's going on. He doesn't even have to move because I'm not actually hitting him. So if I come in and I do this, he may not have to move because I'm not even in his zone. I'm like a foot and a half in front of him. The exercise that I'm about to share with you and that I would like you to do, and if you don't have a training partner, just imagine you're doing it with a training partner, is being honest with your strikes. I never, never want to see this past the brown belt level. I'm going to just do something here, Pete. I never want to see this. I never want to see this. And I never want to see this. What I want to see is, you're going to have to move now, is this. Like if Pete didn't put that movement in there, I would have pressed the side of this bow to the side of his head and moved his head with it. And it probably would have been uncomfortable. But this is why training slow and accurate is so important because I don't want to create any like, I don't want to create bad habits. So from here, we're going to go through those basics again. And I'm actually, don't move here, Pete. I'm actually going to come here and I'm going to hit Pete and it's going to go straight through. He's going to be forced to move. And if he doesn't, he gets hit. Okay, so let's go through the whole sequence. Pete's going to move. And we're going to go slow each. Now he's over there. Knee. Son. Yoko men now. Yoko men. Do. Do. Ashi. Barai. Ashi. Barai. Hanyage. Hanyage. Ski. Ski. Cool. Switch sides, huh? Ski. Good. And back. And maybe we'll do that three times each. Uh, we'll go through the whole sequence. Yes, he's scripted. He knows where I'm going to be coming from. But what it does is now is I'm working on a moving target. I'm not just hitting static by myself. He's now moved. He's blocked that. Now he's over there. So I changed up my basic. And now I'm subtly advancing my footwork, okay? And this would be the next level of that exercise. So it's just Pete in here right now, Pete and I here right now. So uh, there's no need to really do that. Um, I'll do it one more time with you, Pete. If you guys have any questions, put them down below. Uh, and then following that, we'll go to the next and final level uh, for what I would want you guys to train on uh, and what we did in the classes up until tonight. So. We're gonna go through that exercise that I just did with Pete. We're gonna go through it one more time. So now, maybe I'll begin and chew on no Okamai and just the basic sequence. One, two, three, four, four. That was a bad strike on my part. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, good, Sagan, don't ever do a thrust at anybody like this, like a foot in front of them, I know it's obvious, right, but just go on YouTube and type ski and see what you say, always try to strike through your training partner, and if, uh, if you end up hurting somebody, you have to take the initiative to reel it back. Even if you think it was their fault, you still take ownership of that and reel it back a little. Okay. Next is the next level of this pressure testing, this training is now Pete doesn't know what of the basics I'm gonna be striking at him with, but he's also now gonna be putting pressure, applying pressure back at me. So we could put like, we could put an exercise in between these two where I would follow the same sequence against him, where I do this, one, and now he'd come in and Kote Giri. And he sees that like he's been able to block this. He's not gonna hang out there and look at me. His next movement is to apply pressure into the hands. So he's not, and if you spar with this weapon, if you have experience with this weapon, you know that from this distance, 
Pete is not gonna be trying to cut it at my head or at my body. He's gonna attack the hands. If he can break my hand, if he can destroy this hand, I can't really operate the weapon anymore. So he's attacking the army in front of the castle before storming the castle, so to speak. So really, fundamentally, he's fighting against my hands. I want you to think about that. If I put my arms up or in different, different ways, it makes it more exposed to him. Again, nothing against that because it has value, but just the way that Manaka Sensei taught is here, there's not a whole lot exposed to my arm. Here, there's more exposed, it's a more available target to him. So I just be a little conscious of that. Um, but I would certainly, if you're not from our school, I'd follow the rules that your teacher teaches from. Um, but it's, again, not to question anything here. Strike, I'm gonna go through this again. One, he does his block, he comes in to cut my wrist. I'm gonna move back. And then I go to my next one. He blocks, pressure to my wrist. And I move back. Yoko Men, he comes in to cut my wrist. And I move back. Yoko Men, takes my wrist, and I move back. Okay, and I may move back to a different kamai. This is up to you. So now, now we've added an element of uh, equal and opposite pressure exchange between the partners. If you're a fellow instructor, I would only have your senior most students train like this. Um, and also, obviously, use a Fukuro Shinai, not a Boken. Otherwise, fingers are gonna be getting broken. Now, the next is, like I said, is random. Uh, at this point now, Pete doesn't know what my strike is going to be. Again, I'm going to keep it slow for the reasons I've already stated. One. Two. Three. Good. And you notice I'm, I'm, I'm not bouncing again. That same principle we already talked about. I'm coming in, striking, but I'm coming back to like ski up my here. Like, I'm not just going to hit here and be like, all right, all right, cool. Because eventually there's going to have be that pressure that he's going to then put on me. It might look like this. From here, oh, that's why we're doing it. Do that same one again. I have to move back. Okay, so you got me there. This is a good, safe way of training movement, entering and striking. Proper distance with the bow. There's no reason why, come forward a little bit, Pete. There's no reason why I should be coming in, just say that my. I should be coming in and hitting peep with this distance on the bow when I can simply hit here with that distance and take out the hands or the arm. But coming through and trying to have these very deep committed strikes with the bow doesn't make a whole lot of sense. This exercise will help sharpen you with that. So, that's pretty much it. Okay, um, this brings us to the end of class uh, for tonight's stream. Uh, please, if you have any questions, put them down below. Just to quickly review, we went through a warm up without moving the feet, but training our back to stay straight, our knees to stay over the feet, and our knees to track properly as we're doing the strikes in our movement. Not letting the shoulders lurch forward, not leaning the body off balance like this, but shifting the weight, moving from tandem, also focusing, refocusing on some of those basics, uh, explaining some of the hand and arm positions of how uh, Manaka Sensei has taught the Kukishunryu Bojitsu uh, to us. Uh, if you find value in that, wonderful. Um, and then from there, we went to a couple of different exercises that we would then move into, whether it be for warm up or we may, after uh, doing a lot of striking, we may then go into kata and train forms, and then we would use this towards the end of class. We'd use more of like a sparring-based exercise. We call this like keiko no ho. It's just sort of like elevated training. It's methods of training. It's methods of applying the fundamentals and the basics to higher degrees of pressure, and then also kind of breaking down the different uh, variables of tactics and strategy, such as ma'ai, such as now, okay, we've, we've done the exercise like this, I've gone through the sequence, head, head, side, head, side, head, do, do, to Pete, and he's been blocking and using his sword. Now we might, we'll do that three times each, but now let's put exchange pressure where he's gonna come in and he's gonna try to, after he gets the block, try to come in and cut at my wrist, where I'm gonna now have to hit and then move quickly, and he's gonna be able to have to follow me because I wanna set up for my next strike. So now you start seeing elements of what's called 
kakihiki in here, and these exercises help to teach you that without a, without a like without a, a hard form or like a hard formula. Um, and then from there, we would do move it on to random, where I'm coming at at Pete with random strikes from random kamae, maybe do 20, and then we would uh, add we do several repetitions of that, and then we would add in an equal exchange of pressure back and forth, where I now have to hit and move, hit and move. I can't just hit and hang out. So um, that's a whole lot of exercises for you guys here this evening. Um, these are really important uh, exercises and, and methods of training here at our dojo. Uh, I hope you got some value from all that. And we've been here together now for over half an hour. I appreciate your time. Uh, if you stood up and you grabbed a weapon and you were training alongside us, I appreciate you. Um, otherwise, uh, have a wonderful rest of the night. Thank you, Peter. I got those eyes. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful evening. Put your questions down below and I'll make sure